All right, guys, thanks for watching DIY Brian. Today in this episode, we're going to be reviewing my new HOMAC uh, toolbox. Um, it is a 72-inch uh, uh, H2 Pro tool, tool chest, and um, I've added the uh, top box to it, and then I've also added the um, side chest as well, and you know also the, uh, the side locker. Um, so overall, um, there's a few differences between uh, the different HOMAC toolboxes out there. Um, you have the SE series, which I believe has like a, a three-year warranty. Uh, retail sellers out there are going to sell the SE series. Um, a step up from the SE series is the uh, Pro series, which um, is a little bit of an upgrade in the drawers and a little bit better warranty. It's a five-year warranty. And then you get into the H2 Pro series, um, like this chest here. This comes with an eight-year warranty. The construction of the tool chest is quite a bit better quality um, than the SE and the Pro series in that the steel is a little bit thicker. They put a double powder-coated epoxy um, uh, paint to this. Just by the feel of the paint, you can really tell this epoxy is real thick and it doesn't scratch very easily. Um, I noticed a lot of the more inexpensive tool chests, the, the paint isn't near the quality that this is. So that's kind of a lot of what stands this apart from a lot of the uh, lower end chests is a lot thicker construction. Okay, so the next level up um, from the H2 Pro series is the Big Dog series. The Big Dog series of HOMAC uh, tool chests um, is Primarily, they're deeper. They're a couple inches deeper um, than, than the H2 Pro series. Um, they have a 10-year warranty, and they have even a heavier-duty drawer than these. Um, the ball bearings are even a, a bigger uh, bearing, and they're going to hold even more weight than, than these here. So, regardless what your price range is in a tool chest, HOMAC has a really good value in all the different price ranges when you compare them to the rest of the the tool chests that are out there. Um, I felt that the H2 Pro series, to me, is the best value. I don't quite need um, the Big Dog is the reason why I, I went with this. I feel I can get a lot more uh, real estate or I can get a lot more uh, tool chest to fit my tools for my money. All right, guys, so let's show you the tools. Um, in this main big drawer here, obviously due to the depth, um, I put pretty big items in there. Uh, most of my power tools um, I keep in here, you know, your drills, um, the real common stuff here um, that I use a lot of on the right. And then the way I kind of organize tool chests are the drawers that are easiest to get to by hand um, so you don't have to bend over and or reach up real high. I put the real common stuff where it's real easy for my height. So these next two drawers here are, you know, drawers that I keep real common stuff in. So if you notice, um, I've got all my sockets, which obviously when you're working on cars, sockets is a, uh, a real common thing um, to work on your ratchets. Additional sockets I keep all here in basically this one level. And then just right above this, um, I keep my favorite tool here. Um, whenever I'm working on uh, vehicles or anything around the house, um, I just love this uh, drill driver here. Um, it's real small, it has the smaller battery in there, um, but it's light and it fits into tight places so you can get just about anywhere. So these main drawers here, obviously this little set here that goes with the drill driver, and these tools here and these are primarily, I would say, 80% of the time when I'm working on something, it's all right here. And if you notice, um, being as I'm right-handed, I keep the really, really common stuff for me to use um, at the right hand, um, just to cut down time looking for tools and make it easier for me to access them, um, I do that. Um, I've got different size adapters for my uh, drill drivers so that I can fit the, um, the larger sockets. Um, something that I use a lot are these uh, mid-length um, sockets. I put those on my, my drill driver quite a bit. Um, if I need a little bit more power, 
I use this drill driver here. Um, it's got a lot more power out of it. It's got the bigger uh, 18 volt lithium battery on it, and this has got quite a bit of power. So if I'm using something that's a little bit bigger bolts or needs some more torque, um, I use that bigger one there. But again, basically, um, I go through and um, you know got my uh, wrenches. Um, millimeters I use more than standards, so that's the reason why I have the millimeters on the right. I also have a millimeter um, gear wrench type um, wrenches um, right above those. So my standard go-to wrench is here, then there, and then of course these. Then I have additional wrenches here, and over in this cabinet here, um, I have a little bit less common uh, wrenches that I use. And then you get into uh, different hook tools and picks and different things that I use there. So these two drawers, this one here, this one here, and these on this side are what I use the most of. Of course you get your standard screwdrivers and the power tools. So essentially, basically this section here of the toolbox is largely um, the big section of the toolbox that I use. But it's nice to be able to have the width of this toolbox so that I can um, organize my tools correctly. So you've got, you know, I've got files and different um, woodworking tools and stuff in there. Longer drill bits, basic stuff, um, uh, fish tape there for wires. Got all my pliers and whatnot in one drawer. I really like that. Um, I have quite a few pliers and I like to be able to have them all in one drawer. Um, that's really cool to have that in that real wide, wide drawer there. And then in the upper cabinet, um, I've got all my uh, drill bits in this drawer here, right above, um, of course, the drills. And then you get into some fairly common tools that I use quite a bit of, you know, of course, my snap-on screwdrivers there and um, some basic uh, uh, pliers and whatnot, wire cutters. Um, this here is primarily dedicated to uh, radio removal uh, keys. Um, whenever I'm doing a car stereo job or whatever, um, it's nice to have um, the correct tool to be able to remove the radio. Um, this top drawer, being I'm kind of short, I just fill it full of junk. Um, obviously, you you know you could do whatever you want, but it's kind of nice to have a junk uh, junk drawer in your toolbox. And being I'm a little bit short, I put that one at the top there. And then this one um, has uh, electrical type stuff in it: um, power probe, uh, test light, 12 volt power supply, uh, more uh, electrical pliers and. Um, tools there for electrical work and then I've got my soldering stuff um, there so you've got electrical drill bits um, over here you have um, your jigsaws right above that um, a bunch of jigsaw blades and uh, kind of a continuation of a junk drawer there um, it's really cool to have this deeper drawer here I've actually got quite a few extension cords um, in that drawer and um, air impact uh, tools. I don't really use a whole lot of air impact stuff, um, but I do use it uh, now and then. Um, but I primarily use the uh, cordless drill drivers, more air related tools. Over on this side, it's a little bit more geared towards uh, woodworking stuff. Um, I've got my tool belt, knee pads, another tool belt um, in there, staple guns, eye protection gloves, there's the wrenches, tape measures, whatnot, of course a hammer drawer, 
It's got a bunch of uh, cutting type tools, scissors and whatnot in that one. See, I got a gazillion keys. This is where I put my keys, my wallet. And it is, as you can see, the smallest drawer in the entire box. Um, it's a, the extension side cabinet, um, diagnostic equipment. Um, that's a brake tool, oil filter wrenches, uh, Dremel and Dremel tools. Some more stuff there. Glue guns, heat gun. And uh, one of my favorite things is actually over here in this side cabinet. I really like this a side cabinet. cabinet. The side cabinet's cool because I keep a lot of tools ready to go in this tool cart here. Drill drivers, pliers, whatnot. Also in this um, tool bag here, I keep um, a lot of stuff ready to go. So if I've got a mobile project that I need to go on, um, I can get to those really quickly and easily. I keep all my, my tools in those. I've got an additional tool bag here in case I need to grab a few tools out of here um, that I know I'm going to be working on a project mobily. Um, I can, I've got this extra bag here that I can throw those in. I've got uh, routers, circular saws, sanders, and whatnot down here in the bottom. And this is really cool, it has a couple extra um, has a couple extra drawers here in the bottom and these drawers are pretty tall um, so you can get um, quite a bit of stuff in these uh, of course I got the roto zip in that one um, you know to point out this nail gun here fits perfectly in here I'm able to shut it without hitting the hitting the top there I like how these drawers are are, are plenty deep to get those kind of things in and that's one of the key features I like about this box is it has a ton of drawers and a ton of space, but the drawers are the just a perfect amount of height so that you can get a lot of stuff in them and you don't hit the tops. Um, it's kind of pointless if you can't get your tools in there and they're always hitting the, hitting the top there, but yet you don't want really big deep drawers because then you can't organize your tools very well because you're kind of stacking tools on top of each other. Um, I, be I believe HOMAC did a phenomenal job with this H2 Pro series at designing the drawers at the optimal height. So you've got um, even deeper drawers here, or taller drawers I should say. These are about three and a half inches, or these are about two and a half inches. So with a combination of the bottom and the top box, you're able to get a good variation of drawer height so that you can get all of your tools properly organized. And I really think that that's one of the biggest benefits of this H2 Pro is specifically that. Um, they do a phenomenal job at getting a lot of drawers in the tool cabinet, but they're still plenty high enough that you can get some pretty big tools in these. You can see I've got a lot of space on top of there for, you know, deep sockets. If you want to sand your your deep sockets up, they're still going to fit in there, and you're going to be able to shut the drawers properly even with a deep socket. You can see I've got that extension and that real big socket on there, and it fits under there and doesn't hit. So it's really nice to have the proper amount of height out of the drawer. And I think that's one of the biggest difference, differences in a lot of the boxes out there is this one is really, really thought out and designed that way. And having the additional side cabinet here allows me to have some area to charge, you know, my, my batteries and whatnot. I'm going to add an additional outlet here. I've got the, the hole cut there so that I can get, you know, some more plug-ins there for different accessories. Of course, everybody has phones, so keep that charged. Of course, I've got my uh, magnet tool there for bolts and nuts and whatnot when I'm working on cars. And then up here is really cool. You've got a lot of space. You can close the top if you want. These have some really, really high quality shocks there that work really nice. Um, I keep organizers and stuff up there. Um, you know, it's really nice to be able to just grab this organizer and get, you know, nuts and bolts or whatever. I think I've got sprinkler parts in this one here. But it's good to have 
that easy to get to and um, a nice spot for that. So that's where I put those. Super, super happy with uh, this uh, purchase. Um, big thanks to HOMAC for providing some of the cost of this toolbox. All right, guys, so I'm sure you guys are wondering what the cost would be for something like this. Uh, and this is uh, through uh, Northern Tool and Equipment. Um, you can see I've built this shopping cart here. I have the 18 inch um, pro side uh, cabinet um, in the cart here um, at 500 bucks. Um, I've got the uh, side locker um, at $530. And uh, you've got the, the top box there, the HOMAC uh, H2 Pro 72 inch top box at 700 bucks, which is a phenomenal value there for that. And then you have the 72 inch um, uh, base uh, tool chest there. So that, that box there is $1,500 um, for the main chest. Now, obviously you can uh, do this in pieces, the bottom uh, uh, chest first, which you know is a phenomenal uh, tool chest and holds a lot of space at 72 inches wide. That's you know a great, great value um, for the, the, the box, what you get. I mean, guys in my shop, with the snap-on and the corn wells, I mean, they basically basically have a bottom box similar to this, and you know they've spent anywhere between three and fifty-five hundred, and they bought theirs on deals. By the way, um, they uh, didn't pay the regular, um, you know, pricing that um, that the suppliers have on those. So, um, you know, that's a phenomenal value when you compare that to other tool chests of its price range. But if you wanted to go ahead and bite the bullet and get everything here and, and get everything like I've shown it to you, um, the the total cart uh, came to three thousand two hundred thirty bucks there. Now to ship it to me, you're looking at eight hundred and eighty five bucks. So with shipping, you're four thousand one hundred and fifteen. Another alternative I looked at is I looked all this stuff up with shipping with shipping from Amazon. Uh, you're just under four grand there. Um, to get it shipped to me for all these same items. Um, so, you know, shopping around, you can check out Amazon, you can check out, um, you know, Northern uh, Tool and Equipment to get this H2 Pro Series stuff. Also, you can go into a uh, Napa store and uh, pick up the, uh, you know, have them special order the boxes in for you as well. All right, guys, so something I want to do is just kind of give you guys an idea of the actual total width with all these uh, items combined, um, 109 inches and a quarter, just about, so 9 foot 1 and a quarter inches uh, for the total width there. So if you're thinking about putting this, you know, in your shop or at your house, uh, you need about uh, a little over 9 feet there uh, to make that happen. You know, of course, the main chest here is uh, measuring uh, just barely over 72 inches there uh, for the main chest. And then, uh, of course, if you have the uh, side locker here, it's uh, 19 inches there. And the side cabinet is, um, you know, another 18 inches. So, um, you know, the depth of this box um, is measuring just about 22 inches. Now, you can get boxes that are deeper, but in my opinion, I don't really like it much deeper than this. Maybe a little bit deeper is okay, but you get very deep and the drawers have to come out so far to get to the back stuff that, you know, you've got a lot of drawer coming out to get clear out. You can get a lot of stuff in a deep box, but I think you can organize it better in a box in this kind of way. All right, guys, thanks for watching DIY Bry. Hope you enjoyed uh, the review of my toolbox. Uh, make sure you stay tuned for the rest of the videos. I'm going to be doing um, additional videos on the rest of the HOMAC uh, products that I got, uh, primarily the tool carts, the workbench, um, that I'm going to be uh, setting up here in a couple days. So subscribe to the channel. I hope this helped you um, maybe get a little bit more familiar with HOMAC and um, what this tool chest is all about. And hopefully if you're in the market of a toolbox that you've got a good idea of of what the possibilities could be and, and what HOMAC can provide for you.